Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's recording is going to show you how to install I show you audio capture and set it up correctly within OBS. So I've got OBS open here and I want to select my settings and I want to make the Mac because we're doing this on Mac, we want to make the Mac pick up the audio output as number one is I show you audio capture. So this allows you to capture your audio from your screen. So if you're doing a screen capture from a, a gameplay, is this will pick up the audio from the gameplay. And then the second one would be your microphone use. So we've set this up already on Mars. <clears throat> so we've downloaded I show you audio capture which you can download from this website here. I'll add it into the a description below. And if you, depending on what version of Mac you're using, if you do download installer, it will download the installer from here. And because I'm using Chrome, it will pop up at the bottom as a DMG file uh, and then flash down here. So we've already got it installed, so we're not gonna go any further than that. But there is some instructions on here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our settings. So if we go to our system preferences. So when you install, I show you audio capture, you need to open your system preferences, which is in the background here. Oh, sorry, that one there. Uh, and we're going to change our security and privacy settings. So you need to open this up and you need to grant access. So you'll see down here that the developer of the app will want you to grant it access. Obviously, I've got App Store and Identify Developers as my ticked box here. You need to unlock your privacy settings. It'll ask you for your user password for your computer. You put that in and then you hit allow. That will allow the shiny white box to be installed successfully onto your computer. And then you can lock this back up because nothing else should pop up down here and you can get rid of the settings once you've downloaded it because i've got a external device a scarlet box i have to set up a multi-track um recorder so i need to go to my audio midi device setup and under my audio midi device setup I've created a multi-device output, which is really simple to do. So you need to hit the plus button down here and it asks you to create a multi-output device, which I'm creating now. And my multi-output device is showing the multi-output device. But what you need to do is, so I'm just gonna click on this one. What you're gonna do is you need to make sure I show you audio capture is the first device up here. Now that's easy. It's the one you tick first. Um, if you tick your other output device, and mine's the Scarlet 2i4 USB, so that's my microphone input. And if I tick that first, it will be at the top of the Scarlet. This should then reconnect your I show you audio capture. So it needs to be top within our list here, and Scarlet needs to have drift correction ticked on it. So if you have an external device, a USB microphone you want to plug in separately then make sure that's selected as the USB device separate. You go back into OBS you need to make sure you just reset your OBS then because you've reset your settings. Go to your settings, go to audio and then select the drop down menu I show audio capture and select from the second one your USB device and press OK. You also need to go to your settings again and you need to select sound and then you need to select in the input you need to select your usb device because that's what you're inputting your vocals in so as you can see my input level showing that's my vocal that's my microphone and then your output device will be selected as the multi output device now the reason we're doing this is because my outputs are coming out of my usb device and I show you audio capture has no outputs built into it. It's basically a fake 
uh, audio card you install onto your Mac, which then allows you to detect the screen audio only. Now, screen audio doesn't allow you to broadcast audio. You need something else to broadcast audio. So it could be any output device. Now, because we've got the other output device, my USB, which has two ins and four outs, then my outputs would be that as well as so that selects as the output so that it works. That's how you set up OBS. And as you can see within OBS, the bottom one is my microphone. And that is showing as my microphone. As you can go to your quick settings here, properties, it's showing my device is my microphone. And if we play a, a bit of audio or a bit of music, this will show as the I show you audio capture. So the fake device uh, coming through there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.